This will be the last Florida vlog. Welcome back to Universal Orlando Resort. We're here to try cowfish once more. We did like it last time, but we want to try a little bit more, see if we grow to love it. I'm calling this the last supper. Oh no. This will be the last Florida vlog for a while. I'm excited for the coming adventures to share those with you and of course excited for more Florida and more cruise adventures in the future. But for now, some change. Mike, how are you feeling about this? I'm sad. I'm sad. But there's so much to look forward to in the future. I won't ruin the surprise for what changes to expect in the next vlog, but I think you're gonna enjoy it when you see it coming up. Meanwhile, we're making our way in to Universal on the inward walkway. You can see it's a little bit later in the afternoon into the evening because a lot of people are leaving. But we're here for some cowfish. One other stop we're hoping to make tonight is at Voodoo Donuts. We've heard they've got some amazing donuts tonight, a special variety donut. Let's check it out. And here it is, Voodoo Donuts. Let's see if we can check out their new donut. Back this way today is the line for Voodoo Donuts. So we're heading back here to get in line, but then we'll step inside and hopefully see what is allegedly a brand new donut. It always smells so good in Voodoo Donuts. The limited time donut is the pumpkin donut. You can see there, it's a little bit bright in here, so harder to see, so but there you go, 375. And beneath us in the bin, look at that limited edition offering, that giant pumpkin there, universal heart, and look at this kind of skull guy down there, wow. Looks like a nice variety of flavors for us to give a try. I'm thinking the first two, a pumpkin and a jack. Awesome, thank you. Here we go. So here it is, the voodoo box for the day. It looks delicious. We got two donuts, the jack donut and the pumpkin spice donut. They had three limited edition ones. The last one was the pass holder one with strawberry lemonade, but I figured these two were the two we had to try. So I think the pumpkin one has pumpkin spice filling, whereas the jack has, honestly, I don't even remember, but let's find out. Here is the Jack Donut and the Pumpkin Donut there. Excited to try these both today. They've got really beautiful stylings. Let's give these two a shot. I'm not sure why it's called the Jack Donut. It's Voodoo Halloween Horror Nights Jack. At first I was thinking Jack Skellington, but that doesn't make sense, that's Disney. So, Jack and the Pumpkin Spice, let's try them. Pumpkin Spice Donut is a solid choice here. At Universal. Maybe you can see that pumpkin spice filling dripping out of the donut, or maybe not. Either way, it's got a good pumpkin, sweet, kind of spicy flavor to it. Overall, I'd give it maybe a seven and a half. I think the Voodoo Doll is still number one, and I think, was it the Boston Cream Filled? It's probably still number two for me, but I'd probably put this in third place. Overall, great flavors. I could see myself getting it again, but not quite as pumpkin-y as I might have hoped. Now let's try Jack whoever Jack is. This is the inside of the donut. It does kind of look like that raspberry lemonade or strawberry lemonade she was describing, but this is a different flavor. Red, kind of light jam. We'll give it a shot. Overall, the Jack donut is good, but it reminds me of a voodoo doll, honestly, and not quite at the voodoo doll level. I'm not sure if it's maybe a strawberry instead of a raspberry on this one, and you can definitely get a lot of strong vanilla frosting on there. It's really layered with frosting and not enough jam, in my opinion. It is well done, it's got some great flavors, but I'd pick the Voodoo Doll over this one. And between the two, I gotta say pumpkin spice. That being said, I could see myself getting it again. I'm just far more likely to get the Voodoo Doll, and they're so similar that the chances are slim I'd get it again, but it's nice to try the special one. Next up is another couple donuts. No? no we're not doing more donuts? No. Oh. Next up is cowfish, gonna make our way to get some dinner. Gotta start with dessert, right, and then eat dinner and let's get some water, hydrate along the way. Look at these pops here from the SpongeBob movie, Despicable Me. Really cool stuff as we're making our way. <music> Smells great here in Starbucks while we're waiting to grab some water before our dinner. A little bit dehydrated. Now in this surf shop in Universal City Walk as we wait for our cowfish reservation. Should be soon. But you know, sometimes cowfish takes a while to popular spot. So in the meantime, let's check out some merch. Oh, 
and this surf shop is called Quiet Flight Surf Shop. A bit of the look of City Walk at night, really a beautiful look. Look at that Antojitos back there with the blue and red going on. You got your dancing, all those other signs. And there's Countfish, we're waiting for it. It seems like there's a live piano going on by these flashing lights down by the water at City Walk. Another detail to appreciate as we look across this beautiful view. There's our live musician, and you can see a few people sitting back here and enjoying his soft songs here. We ran over here because we didn't want to miss our reservation, but they're telling us our table is at the top of the stairs so we can enjoy these paintings and see for the first time the stairway to, you know, upstairs in general, so we can eat some good food and, you know. We're seated at our table at Countfish. We've got these paper menus. We unfolded those. They gave us plastic bags for our masks, which I really like, and little dessert menus here of paper. All right, Countfish, nice start. Also, once we got that text, we quickly rushed to our seats because it said they were holding your table for five minutes, but we made it. They were able to seat us immediately when we arrived, and now we're gonna choose some food. Here at Countfish, we've got the flaming salmon roll right here. And we've got the tropical storm roll right down here. That's the one. My finger drifted a little high. It's, it's down there, that one. On the right, we have the flaming salmon roll. And on the left over there, that is your tropical storm. I love it. The flaming salmon's got some kind of straw-like, spicy, flaky-looking things on top. Whereas over here, you've got your fish eggs. We've got black, green, and reddish fish eggs all the way down here. So excited to dig in to both of these sushi rolls. Let's do it. Just tried that tropical storm roll. Really nice flavor to it. I don't think it's as amazing as sushi katana, but it's competitive. We'll try a little bit more with that sauce as we go, but really fantastic sushi. Maybe the second best sushi I've ever had. I do love the roe, the fish eggs on top. I like that raw fish red on top. The meats are good quality, but not as amazing quality as I remember last time. I thought the place would have more potential. If you remember, when I had that kind of tuna sandwich, I thought the fish was going to be blow me away amazing. This is great fish, but I'm not sure it's at Sushi Katana level. We'll keep trying, but still really good. The flaming salmon roll is extreme spicy. Burn your mouth crazy flaming hot spicy. It starts off with kind of a fried taste to it. You can tell that it's a fried sushi roll. And that's nice, but I do like a traditional sushi roll. It's kind of breaded on the outside, actually. I'm not sure how deeply it is fried. Maybe lightly fried, but plenty breaded. Then you get hit with the flames. I'm sure there's some spicy sauce in there, some jalapenos. Maybe that's jalapeno strings on the top. I'm not sure what's going on but flaming hot, crazy spicy on that flaming salmon roll. Between the two, I prefer the more traditional tropical storm roll, but they are both good. I like how they've really focused on the amazing just raw sushi quality with the roe on the tropical storm. So between the two, that one's my choice. I'm gonna keep trying and enjoying them both here. Definitely a solid sushi spot. So overall, Cowfish today was significantly better than last time, but it wasn't as glow you away as Sushi Katana. That was some really incredible sushi. That being said, I can definitely see myself coming back now and trying more sushi in the future. Have you eaten at Cowfish? And what do you think? Did we pick better items this time? Mike, what did you think of the sushi here tonight? You know, I really liked it. I did, not the all-time best ever, but in terms of like general sushi flavor, I liked it. I think the, um, what's that, Tropical Storm Roll was one I can see myself getting again. So many other venues to check out in the future. The Red Coconut Club here, dancing and cocktails. You've got all this glow in here, but those will be for another time. It's been fun. Thanks so much for being a part of the adventure with me today. If you liked today's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures. Until next time, play on. Welcome back. Oh God. Welcome back. We're here to try cowfish once more. We did like it last time. So the pumpkin one I think is stuffed with pumpkin. A little bit needing of water. It seems like there's 
Here at Cowfish, we've got the flaming salmon roll. And we've got, you've got your, what do you call that? Baby egg stuff? Then you get hit with the flames. There's some spicy sauce in there, I'm sure. 